Take a look at this. A teen in Illinois is trying to win some scholarship money, so she created a coronavirus themed prom dress. Unfortunately, the 18 year old's uh, prom was canceled. Her name's Peyton Manker. It was because of the coronavirus outbreak. She had her prom canceled, so she used that as an inspiration and created this dress. It features images of life during the pandemic. Manker even made accessories like an anklet that says this too shall pass and flatten the curve face mask. The dress made totally out of duct tape wow. because it's her submission for duck brand uh, duct tape. They're having a contest. The duct tape maker is awarding $20,000 in cash scholarships to winners in July. It's pretty impressive. Why didn't my son enter this contest? If she would have danced with her date, would he have like stuck to her? No. It's a deep Wouldn't question. Duct tape be really heavy and also yeah. It does not breathe. No. See, that sounds like one of the crafting things y'all would do is make. Yeah, on SA Live. Tape. On SA Live. Yeah, Mike Osterhage with the common sense question. Duct tape yes. zip ties, that's all you need, really. I mean, you can do lots of stuff with that. So, hey, we don't have that, but we have a lot coming up in the next hour. Just about everything you can think of and then some. Looking for fun for the family, including the furry ones? How about camping? Adina Anderson has some great tips. Hey, it's a jungle out there. Actually, Zoo Imagination can bring the jungle to your backyard. We're going to meet one of the slowest but most lovable creatures. Taking a trip to some place like the beach may not be the best idea, but we have the next best thing. We check out some staycation gear you're going to want to see. Now, we've all seen situations that make, might make you think twice. What if you were in one? What would you do? Yep, the new season starts tonight, and we chat with the host, John Quinones. All right, there are, listen up, y'all, there are soda dispensers, beer and margaritas on tap, of course, soft serve ice cream. What kind of food would you want to come out of a dispenser? That's our social question today. There's a whole lot we're going to dispense on SA Live, so stick around. to Daily Tech and Business Briefing from Cheddar. After a failed attempt at a social network, Google Plus officially is no longer. The tech giant announcing Monday that the network now being replaced with Google Currents. Now, as of Monday, Google Plus, Android, and iOS apps have been rebranded to Google Currents to reflect the change. Currents is designed to help people within companies communicate with one another. Meanwhile, Microsoft reportedly expressing interest in purchasing Warner Brothers gaming unit. This according to the information. This comes just a month after the parent company, AT&T, said that they were considering a sale of the gaming business and a potential $4 billion deal. Now, both AT&T and Microsoft have so far refused to comment. And internet giants like Facebook and Google announcing Monday that they're going to hit pause on processing user data requests made by Hong Kong law enforcement authorities. This comes as companies assess the new controversial security law that's been imposed in the city by the Chinese government. The sweeping security law imposed last week by Beijing criminalizes secession, subversion, and collusion with foreign powers, which critics say is a direct violation of free speech. And that's your Cheddar Business and Tech Update. I'm Baker Machado, coming to you from New York City. It's time to stop putting off your taxes. Since the pandemic began, the federal government postponed the April 15th deadline all the way back to July 15th. While it gave economic relief to many, the deadline fast approaching. For more information on things like extensions and when you can expect your tax refund, just visit our website, ksat.com. And now we're up to 93 on our way to 97 this afternoon. Hopefully some cloud cover will help to keep those temperatures from getting too out of hand this afternoon. But 20% chance of rain, mainly north of San Antonio. And then temperatures just sort of step up each day as we get closer to the weekend with some triple digits likely by Saturday and Sunday. Welcome to summer. All right. so. We're talking about food dispensers, but I'm kind of confused. Is it like like machines you find in like snack shop dispensers, or is it stuff like you go to places and get it to come out of a? a like I think a, you get it to come out of a. Is machine. that kind of dispenser? Yeah, that, I think that's okay. what they were talking about. Oh, I don't right. know. I was thinking bolognese sauce, you know. Yeah, pasta. out of a, out of a like. Yeah, like put it on your salad or something. Well, you like you get your thing of pasta and then you Michael. but then you'd have to have a pasta dispenser if you're going to put the bolognese. Well, on. it would all have to oh. go together. But and you a lot would, of dispensers. 
Then you'd have the Alfredo next to that, and the <laughs> I think y'all might be why not clam sauce next to that. A little I mean, al dente, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I called Olive Garden. You just get your different stuff. <laughs> you know what, Mike? You can just take it away, right? Now, go, <laughs> go, go, Mike. Hey, are you planning a trip to the great outdoors? We share some tips on camping with the pups and the kids, plus gear you need to survive this summer. And we have a crafty solution to fix your children's ice pop problem. That's all today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios, this is SA Live. Hello and happy Tuesday. Hey, it got us talking. Thank you for joining us from your home, your office, or your home office. You have an own home office, but you can, can you have an office home? That's a different show. Anyway, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. <laughs> oh, and I'm Fiona Gorsiza, hosting from home, home office, office home, maybe. Eventually, your office could take over your home, just like the kids. That's you true. Know? No longer yours. Nothing is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, something we came across on Twitter is that Stouffer's, okay, yeah. is currently going to be making a mac and cheese dessert. Spencer. I love Stouffer's mac and cheese. I love mac right. and cheese, period. But you know what? It does look amazing. Okay, so our question of the day is what would you put on tap? Well, we know Ursula wants to put bolognese sauce on tap, so I guess she could put that on the, the mac and cheese. Um, I don't know. Pudding? I, I'm trying to think of something that would come out of, you know, the not it's, beef stew, you know. But. Potato too much? <laughs> Can it just, can it yeah. just come right down completely ready? I, that's, that's a tough one. Too sci-fi, I know. Oatmeal. I don't know. <laughs> Oatmeal would be good. That'd be pretty good, yeah. yeah. Flavored yeah. oats, not plain. That tastes like cardboard, I think. Anyway, <laughs> we digress. But let us know at SA Live Case that on Facebook and Twitter. What would you put on tap? What would you have come out of that dispenser food-wise? Hmm. Let us on, on all the social at least we're getting to thinking about it, so that that's half the battle. So, hey, if you don't want to take the kids out to the zoo, then we definitely have a solution for you. Yes, Robert Trejo at Zoo Imagination is offering up up close and virtual experiences, of course, with their beloved animals. And if you prefer your animals to be fluffy or even feathery or even scaly, well, they've got something for everybody there. Our Jen Tobias Trusky spoke with him about caring for the animals during these challenging times. Uh, it, because of everything that's going on, it is very challenging for us because we are a program that's designed to travel. We are designed to travel to visit schools. We, we go to different uh, facilities. We also do the resorts in San Antonio. So we've had to adapt a little bit and make a few adjustments to be able to help with that by doing these online programs, which is what we're offering. So we do have a way for people to donate to help our cause. Uh, so if, if anyone wants to learn more about how they can do that, they can visit our website to be able to do that. It does help because, of course, all these animals, they need food, they need care, uh, you know, that, that if an animal gets sick or it needs uh, attention in that sort, you know, it is challenging because, uh, again, as I mentioned to you, that our programs are really what provide for all these animals 100%. Her name is Athena. She is an Eastern Screech Owl. She is full grown. A lot of people think that uh, she is a baby owl, but she is full grown. She is five years old. She weighs about four ounces. They are native to North America, and you are looking at one of the smallest owl species in the world. They are found all over this area. There is the Eastern Screech Owl and the Western Screech Owls, and they vary in, uh, in color from brown and red and to, to even a darker gray, but this is more, what more of what you look when the color you see when you see an eastern screech owl. Now she came to us from an organization in Corpus Christi, down in Corpus Christi. It's a last chances rehab facility where she was found down there with an injured eye. Now, when they looked at her eye, upon examining her eye, they realized that her right eye was injured so badly that it had to be removed. And so they had to surgically remove her right eye. And that is the only reason why we have her. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife 
Wildlife Department and the Texas uh, Parks and Wildlife Department uh, said that it would probably be good for her to not be released only because she cannot see predators coming from the right side. Now under our care, she is she lives in a big area where she can fly around and she can also uh, hunt for food. We do provide her, her her diet, which is consist of insects. She does like to eat insects, so we give her grasshoppers and crickets and little worms like that, but we also provide her pieces of meat. Uh, even with one eye, she can still see over, she can still see an insect clearly over a hundred yards away in the dark. So that's how good their eyesight is. Now you might notice these two little pointy things on the top of her head. Those are called ear tufts. Her ears are just beneath that, underneath all those feathers there. Now owl's ears are a lot different than your other birds. Other birds have holes in the side of their head. Uh, owl's ears are more like slits. They're openings on each side. So one of them is higher on one side and the other side is lower. You'll also notice that owl's faces appear to be flat. They are not flat. They just appear that way because of the feathers. The feathers, what they do is almost like a dish. It traps the sound and it, those, that sound then is directed towards the ears, which is what turns her head in the direction that she heard the sound from. Now I'm going to give you a little example here. I'm going to touch her on the right shoulder a little bit. Watch how she turns her head just to see what's going on. Uh, she's got her eye on something. There she goes, uh, and she's turning her head. She's so looking at Duncan down there. <laughs> <laughs> These animals, uh, they're healthy, they're great, but for one reason or the other, they can be released into the wild, so they do need to be cared for. Um, and so that's why it's we're so excited to be able to say, you know, that be able to, now we're a nonprofit, and, and so that does help in the animals. It's all about the animals. So we've always been focused in, uh, about educating people about animals, and that's what Zoo Imagination is about. That's why we started Imagination 14 years ago. If we go to uh, a, a home or, or a, 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 an area where it's, you know, where we make sure we keep our distance, we keep our safe distance, we always wear, we, we always wear a mask. Uh, and so of course our, the groups are, are limited to a certain number of people, uh, but we always make sure that we wear our mask and we always make sure we keep our distance. So we, we do um, follow the, the safety uh, protocols that are in place uh, to ensure everybody's safety. That's fascinating. Spot a grasshopper in the dark at 100 yards. He always has such great information about all these animals. Hey, next Tuesday, we get to be up close and personal with this is Yogi the Sloth. He is a two-toed sloth. And here's one of those great fun facts you may or may not recall from previous segments we've had with sloths. Despite being one of the slowest mammals in the world, they are excellent swimmers. I remember that. I remember learning that. And of course, there are plenty of mouths to feed at Zoo Imagination. It is a nonprofit, so any help at all is greatly appreciated. All right, well, to set up a personal encounter with social distance restrictions, it might be a cool birthday gift if you're having to cancel those parties or to set up a virtual experience, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link. And, and of course, Robert just has all sorts of animals out there. It's, it's great, we always love when he's on the show. All right, changing gears here a little bit. If you want a fun and useful activity for the kids to do that won't involve a screen, how about sewing? Yes, and if they like ice pops on top of that, this is even better. Jen Nicolella of Abby's Attic shows us how the kids can make their own ice pop koozies. Hey everybody, it's Jen from Abby's Attic here. Today I'm joining you from our Thousand Oaks sewing studio. And in between getting ready for summer camps for kids and weekend classes for beginner sewers, we have come up with a fun and easy tutorial for a great summer project, ice pop koozies. Now you don't need any special sewing experience and you probably have all of the materials hanging around in your house. So let's get started. Your materials will include fleece, flannel, or felt, and you'll need at least a three inch by an 11 inch piece of fabric. You'll need a sewing machine or a needle and thread to do it by hand, or a hot glue gun. You'll need straight pins or clips, even paper clips or clothes pins or binder clips will work just fine. You'll need some scissors and the pattern template that we will provide on our website. Now you're going to pin your template onto your fabric. And this is your pattern piece that will be provided on our website. 
it is three inches by 11 inches, but you'll notice that the pattern is only half of that. So you're gonna have to place this edge on the fold of your fabric. And with some pretty decent scissors, you're gonna trim this off. Very close to the paper pattern, but not through it. And now you have your three inch by 11 inch project. Fold each short end of your project about a half an inch down with the fold facing inside the project, like so. Repeat with the other short edge, pinning it down as you sew. Don't forget to backstitch. Take your project and fold it in half, pretty sides together, making sure that your side edges and your top open edge meet up evenly. Pin your edges together and sew along both long edges to create your pocket. Don't forget to take your pins out before you run over them. Backstitch at each end of your stitching. Trim any loose threads you may have. And now you can turn it right side out. This fabric is fleece. It's nice and soft, it doesn't fray, it's easy to sew, but the process is the same. Start with a three inch by 11 inch piece of fleece. Fold the short ends in about a half an inch, pin and sew. Repeat with the other short edge. Don't forget to pull your pins out before you run over them with your machine. You'll want to sew it about just a scant half an inch seam allowance. A little narrower than a half an inch is a good seam allowance to use. Cut your threads. And now you can turn it right side out. Make sure your corners are nice and crisp. And now you have some projects that you can use for your ice pops. That's a great little craft for the kids. And you won't, fingers won't get too cold. I bet it catches any drips too. That'd be kind of handy for that as well. So, hey, what's your favorite flavor of ice pop? Uh, man, I'd have to go with, you can't go wrong with cherry. Cherry, yeah. okay, uh, cherry orange. I love, I love orange too, so yeah. You know, and I'm, I'm, you always do, you do a mean cross stitch, okay? So I wouldn't be surprised if you've already made this at home. Well, I've got my handy dandy sewing kit with me right here that I pull out of my <laughs> desk in the newsroom. <laughs> so I, I knew you'd like that one, Fiona. <laughs> oh, I knew it! <laughs> oh. For more information on the Ice Pop and Abby's Attic, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. You're always you ready to come to button. when you lose a button, Fiona, so... Hey, still ahead on SA Live, the 15th season of What Would You Do returns tonight. Watch our interview with host and San Antonian John Quinones. And we take your taste buds on a trip to the tropics. The recipe up next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Shailene McNeil, our good friend with Beef Love and Texans, always has tasty recipes that the whole family will love, like this summertime meal with a Caribbean twist. And she showed us how to make it last summer, and we're bringing it back for a second helping. Take a look or a bite. You can't have a cookout without some beef. Yep, Absolutely. and Shailene McNeil with Beef Loving Texans is here, and uh, I saved the milkshake for you because I know you were uh, yeah, it yeah, dessert years. after we get our protein <laughs> and everything. Even a milkshake would go good with this. Oh, meal, right? it pairs great with beef, of course. Mm -hmm. Great okay. dessert. All right, it's already sizzling. Yes. All right, what are we making mm -hmm. today? We've got a fun plank steak that we're going to do Caribbean theme. You don't think about tropical twists with beef, but it goes great. So we've got this delicious flank steak. It's a mm -hmm. lean cut of beef. Love the versatility and the flavor, but we're going to do a marinade, and you're going to help me do that. Anytime you do a marinade, you want some acid. So we're going to add a little bit of lime juice, fresh okay. lime juice, a little bit of pineapple juice that we're going to use some of the pineapple over here in a second, fresh cilantro, and then the key ingredient for the Caribbean is a Jamaican jerk seasoning. It's got chili and nutmeg Ooh. and cinnamon, so it's like sweet and spicy. Stir all that up. And that acid helps tenderize helps, it, right? Yes, the acid okay. is a key ingredient in a marinade to tenderize. We're going to take our flank steak that we trimmed up, dump on our marinade, zip top it up, 
Saves then, the tip in the kitchen, easy gun the cleanup. How long would you uh, marinate this? I want to do this at least six hours. Okay. And I'll put it back in the fridge and leave it overnight, and that's right. a good little tip. While Then we get our grill ready. We're going to put it on a grill that's medium-high heat, about four inches. You can hold your hand up here and for about four seconds, and you've got that perfect temperature. Okay. While that's finishing off on the grill, about five, six minutes on each side, let's whip up some quick coconut rice. Okay. Take your brown rice. Mm -hmm. We've got some whole grains here, and dump in some fresh pineapple, crushed pineapple, a little toasted <laughs> coconut. Oh, we toasted love that. Toasted coconut. That's the key ingredient. Toasted mm -hmm. almond. Anytime you toast, you get out those great flavors. And then you're going to finish a little bit of fresh cilantro. Okay. And that's all you do with that. It pairs so delicious with this beef cut. Now, uh, what uh, temperature would you want to get that to? A medium? So we like about 145 degrees as medium rare. Okay. And anytime you take this off the grill, remember, Beef Loving Texans has all your guide for grilling to that perfect temperature. If you like medium rare, if you want to cook it a little bit more, you can go up to 150 degrees. Take it off the grill and let it sit when it's done before you slice it against the grain. And that will make it gen tender and juicy. And a lot of people think if I leave it, it's gonna get cold. No, it doesn't. Actually, it will cook a little bit more when the, it's it, sitting it, there, right? The temperature goes up a little bit and we call it resting. Mm -hmm. And that lets the juices come out evenly. And you see, we've got this nice, great medium rare. So even though it is, and I, I know we've been tenderizing it here with the marinade uh, and a, a flank steak like that, you can cook it to just a medium rare. You it's can do medium tender, rare. So. Yeah, oh, it's gonna be plenty tender. You don't have to do this one really rare. and we're gonna thinly slice it. Remember, we marinated it. We're thinly slicing it. We're cutting it across the grain. Don't forget Beef Loving Texans for your go-to guide for grilling. And you can, you know, serve it kind of family style like this. We love and doing put it that way. All the rice on a platter like that, and look at those just delicious. Absolutely. You can also do this as a stir fry for back to school. It'd yes. be fun. So you don't have to do it as a steak, uh, but you can. I love this because mm. it could almost be like this little theme night that you do at home. You could do it. Everybody put on their tropical shirt <laughs> yes, and pretend that yes. we're not going back to school and that summer is lasting forever. Remember that vacation? Let's yes. try to relive it. Keep summer forever. <laughs> and there's just enough sweetness from that pineapple in the in the rice like that. And the jerk has a little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. So you've got a nice balance of sweet and spice. You've got whole grains. You've got protein and iron and zinc from your beef. So it's a balanced meal. It's fresh. Mm -hmm. We're always looking for more fresh ingredients to incorporate in. So really just a lot of fun and fresh. And as you mentioned before, of course, inexpensive for Inex the flank steak. Very mm -hmm. affordable. Yeah. You know, flank steak is about $6 a pound. You get about four servings per pound. So that's a great way to get protein and something your family enjoys. And the nice thing about this, too, is if you didn't eat it all, uh, and even though it has been marinated more of a, you know, a Jamaican style, uh, you could, you know, put that in tortilla and make oh, a... Oh, you could. I eat this cold day. as a leftover the next day. It's great for a quick lunch. You can do a batch cooking and have it for lunches throughout the week. All okay. right. And Thanks. folks can, of course, awesome. find all these great beef recipes and more, right? At That's right. BeefLovingTexans.com, your resource for beef. And like she said, all of the great, uh, you know, tips on temperatures and how to cook things exactly so they are delicious. I remember that rice now looking at that. That was delicious. All right, we've got the full recipe on our website. All you got to do is look for it the Caribbean beef with coconut rice. Well, who wants to wear contacts and glasses during the summer? It's hot, it's humid, your glasses fog up, and they're a pain in the pool. But you can enjoy your summer activities without having to worry about glasses or contacts getting in the way. Manrique Custom Vision will give you a big discount on Z LASIK right now. And operations manager Richard Doenough joins us to tell us what they have to offer. Good afternoon. How you doing, Richard? Good. How you been? Pretty, pretty good. So y'all have been taking extra precautions to keep people safe. What can people expect when they come in from a safety standpoint? Uh, we wear masks and gloves when the patients come in. Uh, the patients are required to wear masks. Um, we do a questionnaire just to make sure that they're COVID free, that, you know, is mandated by the governor of state. Um, we just keep everything clean. We keep the social distancing. Uh, we got the we got the lobby separated. We don't keep a lot of people in there. It's very comfortable. We're actually getting a lot of compliments because the flow of the, the flow of the clinic is actually a lot smoother than we expected it to be. Uh, wait times are real low and people are still getting the same quality of service that they're used to. So what's the difference between LASIK and then Z-LASIK? Uh, Z-LASIK, in our opinion, is a least invasive system to do the LASIK. Um, it actually only takes 21 seconds an eye to do the LASIK part and then actually treat the eye on Allegrado 500 to make you see correctly, it actually only takes 10 seconds or under. So um, in our opinion, it gives the best results, the quickest recovery, and it's the safest for our And it is pain-free, then what's the recovery like? 
It's a pain and blade free. Uh, recovery is usually instant. You just go home and sleep for about four to eight hours. The longer you sleep, the better. Uh, to let any irritation that may occur go away. But um, usually, I mean, we do a lot of people from your station, you know, everywhere. And next day they come in and are just amazed at the results. All right. So what about financing? Do you do it? Yes, sir. Um, right now, we're actually taking medical spending accounts and flexible spending accounts for all the teachers, government officials, et cetera. Um, we have we still run a 36 months interest free. Um, we like I said, I've said it a couple times. I'm surprised we still have it. Um, I'm sure once COVID's over, they're going to take it from us. But um, and we're actually offering some of our best discounts right now for those who want to come in and get rid of their glasses. Anything uh, special going on for healthcare workers or frontline medical workers? We've always taken extra good care of them. They give us a call though, and, and you know we're going to bend over backwards, like you know, like we always do, and we'll get them all squared up, get them out of those glasses and contacts, extreme, make it extremely safe for them out there. All right, now you got a special offer for folks watching SA Live today. How much can they save on Z LASIK? You know, we, we've been ranging with you guys from eighteen hundred to two thousand, and we make it dependent on the prescription. Um, medium, lower range is one, and then uh, if you're up in a higher range, of course, you're going to be at the lower end of it. But um, everybody, that I'm happy to say everybody's come in off of your show. They've been extremely happy with the pricing and the results of their surgery. All right. For the next hour only, $1,800 to $2,000 off your Z-LASIK procedure at Manrique Custom Vision, depending on your prescription. Just call 210-354-2020 or text LASIK to 45384 for an instant discount. And for more information on Z-LASIK, visit sa.manriqueeye.com. Richard, good chatting with you. Thank you, sir. Well, I'm sure a lot of folks are still spending a whole lot of time at home, but you may want to bring some of those comforts in to make it feel a little more like a staycation within a staycation. <laughs> and joining me right now to help is lifestyle expert Susanna Franco. Hey there. Hi, how are you? Thank you for having me. Yes, I did a whole beach setup right in my own living room. We have to get creative these days, right? Right? It's like all you need is sand, but who wants that mess? <laughs> <laughs> Not I. So we're just going to have a nice little setup here. The first item I have for us this morning is the Uber Chill, the XL. And this will take your staycation within your staycation, as you mentioned, to a whole new level. This is a refrigerator and it's also warmer. So you can basically plug this in if you find yourself maybe heading outdoors for maybe a social distancing picnic you can also take it into your car it has a plug-in for your car and it fits up to six soda cans right in this baby there you go nice size there and it's super portable you can take it anywhere i love the color you know it's not an eyesore in your house if you're having your little beach vacation as i mentioned it also warms things up up to 150 degrees so you can use it for either or and then you want to also make sure that you are packing your utensils by mermaid straw and i love this company look this company is making sustainability look cool it's these iridesc iridescent stainless steel um cups they have these iridescent stainless steel straws and their whole idea the whole mission is to get rid of plastic straws obviously to protect our environment so they don't end up in our ocean and take a look at this cool kit this kit right here it's a traveling kit it has an awesome fork a spoon a knife this awesome straw again and look at this chopsticks if you're into sushi um you also want to make sure if you have a sweet tooth to pack your Media toffee. They are taking toffee to a whole new level. These are beach us flavors. This company started on Amelia Island in Florida and they're inspired by the beach, the flavors. They have flavors like coffee toffee, key lime toffee, bourbon toffee, orange bliss toffee, and sea salt toffee. Again, taking toffee to a whole new level. Love this company. And Admiral's Daughter, this is taking beachwear also to a whole new comfort level. It's basically ocean inspired attire. And what I love about this company, they are helping out for, to bring awareness about ocean conservation and also about the military, supporting military organizations. They give back a percentage of their sales uh, to those organizations. So you're doing a good thing by purchasing one of Admiral Daughter's t-shirts. And they're super comfortable. You just throw it on over your bathing suit, you're ready to go. 
And then you also have, speaking of keeping things nice and firm, Miami Beach Fun. This is a product if you're the type of girl that loves to head out to the beach all the time. You're maybe surfing, you're out there swimming, body surfing. It helps avoid the breakouts. Last but not least, Fiona, boom. You want to look stylish even if we are stuck inside. You want to make sure you're looking good because when you look good, you feel good. I am wearing this baby doll dress by Boehm and I love Boehm. It's your one-stop shop for everything boho chic. So if you're into that, which I am and I love it, make sure to pick up this super comfortable dress. And then look at this gorgeous bathing suit. It's a one piece, it's an off-white, it comes in off-white and black. And I love the detail around these little ruffles around it. It has a nice back and this kind of keeps everything nice and slim and slender. Where can folks go for more information? You can always go to chicexecs.com. We'll have a list of all the products there with all the links. All right, Susanna Franco, thank you so much for your time and stay safe. for a summer camping trip and you want to bring the furry friends along, we've got you covered today. Lifestyle expert Edina Anderson joins Hi. me. Hi. We are not in studio today. We, we are. And we are camping. Yes. <laughs> and you know, it does get warm out here. We're in Texas, right? Yes. So there's some tips that I want to give you when you have your pups out there because they get hot just like we do, especially if there's no breeze. They're going to sweat too and you got to keep an eye on that. So you definitely want to have cooling towels for them. Just put them in some ice, put them in some water. And then we have some really Think, you know, some good things here to think about is tick spray. You can get this at your vet. Um, some of the pet stores have it as well. It's a tick spray or flea spray. And then bring new toys for them. They're going into a place that they don't really know very well, so they're going to be a little nervous. And one tip, because we are going to be camping in New Hampshire pretty soon, because I'm on a 30-day, 30 30-state 30 trip coming up, mm -hmm. is you want to check the local area. Never tether your dog and just leave them there, because there's some yes. critters that could get them, and you don't want no, that to happen. Want <laughs> so that to happen. Keep them with you. Keep yeah. them on a leash. So ear wipe and yes. doggy poopy bags. Yeah, you want to take you know the poopy bags and definitely take trash bags with you and then take treats that they're used to because again they're in a different environment so you want to make sure that they have normalcy with them. Okay, I like this because yes. I got three schnauzers. Oh, you can put all three in there, right? And they get tired. And Molly's gone camping with, whoops, sorry, <laughs> gone ca uh, hiking with me oh in this gosh. and so she's kind of used to it and it does have a strap. Is she even so in that there? She, yeah, I know. So she does not weigh much. <laughs> but that will hold her in there so she can't jump out. Out. Okay. And then she could even put her head through. Here, Molly, look. Let's put oh your head God. through here. <gasps> there you go. It, but I feel the cuteness back <laughs> I there. Know. I can't see you. She actually you loves do? this thing. Okay. <laughs> You're ready to go for a hike? <laughs> Okay. We are in this tent. Wow, this is amazing. I know. But this is even cooler. Take a look. They, they have their own room. They so do. Put them in? Yes. Let's look, they got all their stuff, their toys, their food. I love these little uh, dog bowls in the water. Yeah. Bowl. So this is dog gear. This is a really cool bag. They call it the Week Away bag, or they have the Weekender backpack. But it has the bowls that come with it, so they have their water, their food, little bags for their food right there and then always take a first aid kit with your pups but this has you know some wipes some kleenex some cbd oil if they need it their benadryl because riley has her allergies so just have the things that they that you think they're going to need maybe a couple things of gauze for them and, and then the puppy pad their, too Very always good. have yes. your puppy pads yes especially if they're used to it but then also you you know it gets late at night you don't want to walk them out all the time and my girls right. are used to puppy pads so I love this tent though because it's got the little, you can watch the sun. So one cool tip for the uh, humans that are camping, let's talk about what you yeah, have Yeah, so you know, pick up one of these floaty things. Or for the swimming pool, this is the blue thing right here. Oh, okay. I got it at the dollar store, Walmart or something like that. Mm -hmm. This one's not aired up, but air it up, it gives you a little more cushion. There you go. We talked about the dogs, but now on to the kiddos. We have Anna and Cameron here with yes. us. And we want to stay busy, right, when we're camping? So what do we have today? This is just another dollar store find. It's a pencil box. Oh. And inside, those are just little things they can color and put pencils Here, because again it's color hot something for us crayons will melt this whole thing was go. two or three bucks to put together we're gonna make bean bags and the kids are gonna play with this game at the end okay but it's a shoe box that they can store all of these goodies into and they're gonna play this uh, you just do the felt which okay. are 29 cents a piece fill it with these beans that you can get at the grocery store okay. hot glue it together and then make the bean bag. So this That's whole so crap easy. cost you under a dollar to make That's this fun game for the kids to play. 
Oh, good, good job. Good shot. These kids are having fun with this game. All inexpensive. Ooh. Great tips today, yes. Dina. Where can people go for more information? CreativeLifestyles.tv. Right. For more information, go to SALive.com where we've provided all of her information. I think we should play, right? All I right. think we should. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Welcome back, everyone. Well, a couple of years back in April of 2017, Jen met up with the host of ABC's What Would You Do, John Quinones. Oh, he is just the next guy. You know, and he is from San Antonio. And he was about growing up. He was called from his mom and his wife. Take a look. So your show is such a big hit, What Would You Do? But I think the concept behind it is so important to you, just doing the right thing. Tell me why that's so important to you. The show shines a light on the fact that there are still so many differences and that we have a lot of work to do. But it also reminds us that there are, that there are a lot of heroes in the world. You know, growing up in San Antonio, my mother was the most compassionate woman um, I've ever known and she our door was always open to to abused women and children who were running away and injured animals and, and she would say to me when when she had opened our doors because we didn't have much she would say mijo que harías tu which literally means what would you do so in many ways it's a tribute there you go. it's a tribute to her I mean I know for myself uh -huh. you know just seeing you and how you're from here and just where you are now I know it means a lot to people and I'm sure you hear that a lot yeah. how does that make you feel just to yes. know that it makes me it warms my heart to know that people are so inspired by seeing me on television and one of the reasons is that, is that there's so few of us on national television but I think the other thing that people recognize is know that that I'm Mexican-American, and I didn't speak English when I was six years old. Uh, I grew up in the barrio here, in poverty. I used to shine shoes on Guadalupe Street. And people know that I'm an example of the opportunities in this great country that exist if you study hard and you work hard and you keep your eyes on the prize. And I think if I'm an inspiration because of that, then I'll, I'll take it as long as it helps others achieve their dreams. Great. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> Oh, it's an interesting concept in that show with all the different oh, things. Yeah. And, and it, it always makes you wonder, would you do that? I mean, it's easy watching it, but what if you were in that situation? Hmm. Right. right, you kind of look around who's to say something. <laughs> exactly. Well, new season of What Would You Do airs tonight at 9 p.m. on KSAT 12, so be sure to tune in. Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, Cooking with Kids, we kick off a new series inviting kids from all over the city to cook their family recipes. Showcase them right here on SA Live. Tomorrow, it's an egg roll bowl from Kenya Arman. That looks really tasty. Plus, this magician is making money appearing out of thin air. See if you can figure out his secret and how he's adapting to show challenging to these challenging times. That and more tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. Have you taken the Plexiderm 10 minute challenge? It might be something fun to do for summer and it will make you look younger. Check out these reactions. This is the first time these people looked in the mirror after they took the challenge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Wow, is that really me? <laughs> it's a facelift in a jar. Lifestyle expert Tia Leslie joins me today to show us how we can take the challenge at home and get rid of those under eye bags and wrinkles. Hey there, Tia. Hey, Fiona. What is the 10 minute challenge? Yes, yeah, so great question. So we put a nationwide challenge together for those people that are skeptical as to whether Plexiderm really visibly does get rid of under eye bags and lines within 10 minutes. The results, people were astounded, Fiona. People couldn't believe that this little serum packs such a powerful punch in one application. It's called Plexiderm, amazing. And you have video of one woman, Georgine, and it's sped up yes. so you can see the changes, right? So tell us it, what we're it, seeing. Yes, exactly. So this is Georgine. So this is a funny story. She actually came into the studio pretty skeptical. So she sat down, obviously she's a lovely lady, but she's got some lines around her eyes, on her cheek, around her mouth. And all we've done, we've just dabbed a little of the Plexiderm Serum on. A little goes a long way. You really only need about a half a pea size. We left her for about 10 minutes. We came back, she was looking in the mirror. She couldn't believe it. She was astounded. She looked younger. She looked more refreshed. She really came in skeptical and she left a believer in Plexiderm by the time she left. So this takes 10 minutes and bonus, you can do it at home. So no doctor's visits, right? And what we want to say is Plexiderm is actually a cosmetic solution 
that's an alternative to an injectable. It's fast, it's easy. And what I really love about it, Fiona, is that you can do this all from the comfort of your own home. And this is the technology behind it. I love that they've married natural products with the really cutting edge technology in today's skincare. So they've taken shale rock and what they've done is they've extracted the nutrients from it, which are called silicates, which is a mineral. They've infused that into the Plexiderm serum. And so then what this does is when you apply it to clean, dry skin, it actually pulls up those crevices, if you will, and tightens simultaneously to really give you that beautiful, smooth appearance. It's chock full of peptides and collagen, really nourishing for your skin at the same time. If you want to put makeup on over it, you certainly can, but you're going to be using less makeup because the serum is actually really going to be doing the heavy lifting for you. So you're saving time and money, and that's a win-win in my book for sure. And I see both men and women are using it. Is it the same formula for both? Same formula. So if you're waking up to a busy executive in the morning and he's got some bags going on underneath that eye, he can use it as well. Obviously, men don't use usually typically wear makeup. So this goes on clear. And again, all you really need is about a half a pea size. So maybe you've got a gentleman in your life that needs Plexiderm. And obviously, it works for women as well. So both men and women works beautifully for both. Have any studies been done on Plexiderm? Uh, they did two studies last year. They really wanted to study the effectiveness of Plexiderm. And the numbers that came back, really pretty amazing. So on average, they found about, about an 80% reduction around lines around the eyes and on those under eye bags, about an 85% reduction on the really troublesome forehead lines that get really deep and about a 74% reduction around lines around your mouth. And the other study, we really wanted to see how long does it last. It lasts for 10 hours. So as long as you don't jump in a pool midday, you're fine. Thank you so much for your time. You can take Thank the you. Plexiderm 10 minute challenge at home today. They have a special right now, a Plexiderm trial pack for just $14.95 plus free shipping. Just call 800-706-3765 or visit plexidermtrial.com.